compression gear for running. Is it worth it? Compression gear. I've got quite a lot of it. I like the stuff. But is there actually any advantage to wearing compression gear? Well, I should definitely start by saying that the scientific evidence supporting compression gear is pretty light, to be honest. Um, most of the scientific studies that have been run regarding compression gear, fairly, it's fairly inconclusive as to, its, as to its advantages. However, some of the believed pros of wearing compression gear are as follows. It increases the blood flow to your muscles, therefore it increases oxygenation of the muscle tissue, which will in turn improve athletic performance. It reduces uh, fatigue during and after exercise. And in line with that, it provides less of a chance that you're gonna be experiencing DOMS after your exercise, which is basically delayed onset muscle soreness, which is that achy, painful feeling in your muscles the day after, two days after, sometimes more. And as well as that, it is, and it, this can't really be argued, it is flexible. So there's going to be no reductions in your mobility whilst wearing it. It's breathable and it's comfortable. So my experience of wearing compression gear is completely anecdotal. I haven't done any scientific testing other than the sort of thousands of miles that I've run in the stuff. So yeah, I've been using it for about six years and I actually started with a pair of compression shorts. Um, like these Skins compression shorts. And the reason I turned to compression shorts was largely a comfort reason really. So before wearing compression shorts, I was actually wearing cotton boxer shorts underneath running shorts, which is a bad idea for a number of reasons really. Um, so yeah, these provide good comfort. As well as that, I was experiencing some niggly injuries to sort of around my knees and things that I kind of narrowed it down to the fact that my hamstrings were very tight and fatigued and overused and I was just looking for that extra support and, and, um, and in the hope that these would help with those issues and I did you know this could be coincidence but I did actually find the niggly injuries reduced once I had these on I you know, enjoyed the enjoyed the extra support that I felt of those major muscles in the upper legs and around my glutes after compression shorts, or you know, I still wear compression shorts to this day, but I then started using some compression short socks as well. So particularly during longer runs, um, it was another sort of problem area for me. My calves would cramp up, um, so I was looking for something to help with that. And I found that these these compression short socks, these are an Injinji pair. So they're the toad ones again. And I like my toad socks. Um, they helped just delay sort of calf fatigue or that's how it felt to me you know I would I would not start cramping um, as soon as I would without them so yeah they were really good for me um, however I've moved away from these now I don't feel my body really needs them anymore I think my body's got used to the mileage that I ask it to do and the terrain that I run on so I don't really wear these anymore however I wouldn't be averse to going back to them if I felt I needed them I do have a couple of pair of compression tights that I've worn on occasion, but I don't wear these very often. I prefer to be in a pair of shorts if I can be, but in the very cold weather, I'll wear a pair of tights. Now, these are both subsports um, tights. I've got a winter, uh, sort of a cold weather gear and just an all weather gear here. So yeah, I'll put those on, but very rarely. And I've got a number of compression tops as well. So I've got these short sleeve tops from skins, um, I can't remember the last time I wore these. To be honest, I, I got I bought these sort of specifically for obstacle course racing, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm not I'm not a massive fan of them. I find them a little bit 
irritating because I used to just ride up a bit during an obstacle course race. But that was just my experiencing, my experience. The tops that I do still, compression tops that I do still wear, but not very often, are these Subsports cold gear tops, and I use these as part of a layering system during the winter months. Um, they keep you nice and warm. So yeah, that's it, that's my compression gear. Oh, other than I do have a pair of compression socks that I use exclusively for recovery. These are a zero point pair of compression socks. I still use these after a sort of very intense running session or exercise session um, or after a race. And I just yes, use these for recovery and I just like, like the support that they give me and the feeling of that increased blood flow in my lower limbs. If you've never used compression gear, but you're thinking of giving it a go, I'd, I'd say do just that, give it a try. It might be something that you, that you really like and you're gonna use for years to come, like I, I do with my compression shorts. There's loads of brands out there. Um, some of the brands that I've used and would recommend are Skins, Two Times U. Um, but if you're looking for a, a sort of budget cheap option just to give it a try, then Subsports is, is a good place to go. And that's it. I hope you found this video about compression gear useful. If you've got any questions, just pop them down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll catch you in the next one.